wheelchair assistance here in Newark. Please remain seated until those chairs. What's up? Welcome to the start of the vlog. I just made the biggest amateur move of all time. First of all, I'm in Newark and I am commuting in for my trip tomorrow. Luckily, I got on the flight. Uh, I'll tell y'all that story when I get to the room, but I went to the wrong freaking hotel. I'm so sad. So now I'm waiting for an Uber to come pick me up and take me to the right hotel. I thought she didn't have my reservation or something, but I'm at the completely wrong hotel. Not even the same, not even like the same hotel name, but in a different location, like literally not the hotel. So I will see y'all when I actually get there. All right, you already know what time it is. The room tour time. We are back. We got the closet. We got the bathroom, pretty standard and special. My bag, I have two beds. This is obviously the bed I'm not sleeping on. I took a minute to get my life together, y'all. Just wait until I tell you what I have been through today. But it doesn't matter what I've been through because we are blessed and highly favored. We have a fridge. We have a fridge and it's cold. It's actually cold, won't he do it? Hot Logic Mini is making another appearance. I'm actually heating up some bread, which I know is very extra, but I'm about to make a sandwich and I, you know, I love toasted bread, but since I can't toast it, I'm just gonna heat it up. Two bottles of water, which is nice. And the view, lovely view of the highway. We love to see it. Getting ready to just chill. It has already been kind of a long day. I'm gonna hold the camera up like this because I forgot my tripod as well. Today has been kind of a whirlwind. It's been a good day. I hit a milestone today. I rode my bike 31 miles this morning. Excited about that. I am commuting. So I guess we can officially call me a super commuter now. I am here uh, tonight. I have a trip tomorrow morning. There were no flights early enough for me to just fly in the day of my trip. So I'm here the night before. Y'all, it's been crazy. So uh, of course the flight was full that I was trying to get on. There's only three flights right now a day from Charlotte to Newark and they're express flights so they're smaller airplanes so it's already like almost always a tight situation. So but they canceled two out of the three flights which is awesome. Um Y'all are commenting on my video. If you haven't seen the last video, go watch it. If you have seen it, thank you very much. I'm gonna reply to y'all's comments in just a second. So I get to the airport. The flight is already like full, but I'm hoping I can get on. I'm number two on standby, but usually, you know, when express flights say they're full, they're usually full. Like it's, it's not a joke. So luckily I got there pretty early, which is, you know, doesn't normally happen. <laughs> I normally get there with about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to spare if I'm lucky, but I had like 30 minutes to spare today. I was really doing a great job. So I get there, I'm like waiting. I'm like, ah, I don't know if I'm gonna get on this flight like it's looking pretty full I start looking at American flights and I can't tell how many seats are open on those flights I don't have a way to look into their system but I, I can have I can get a clue and so they'll have like a green light yellow light red light so red means probably don't want to try there's probably not any seats and green usually means you're probably gonna get on so flight that was at the same time as um, my airline on American had a green light so I was like um, I'm getting my things and I'm gonna go over to American and try to catch that flight because I just need to get here period so I grab my stuff I go all the way to terminal C which is like <laughs> I made it about a six minute walk but it's like a 10 minute walk I was hoofing it so I get over there and of course the line is like super long to talk to the gate agent it always is and um, I'm standing there and I'm like I don't know there's already like 14 people on, on the standby list which is a lot I was like I, I might still get on let me just see let me just ask her but at this point boarding for my airline the flight that I was gonna take is gonna have in like six minutes so I'm like oh like should I stand in this line and wait because if I do then I'm gonna be stuck on this flight so I check my phone one more time and all of a sudden the flight said full but then it said available so apparently like two seats have become available remember I'm number two on standby so I'm like are you serious? So I'm like, uh, I'd rather chance it with my airline than with American. So I go all the way back to Terminal A. Man, I was hoofing it. I was moving and grooving. As soon as I get there, I look at my phone and they had already assigned me a seat, which is like amazing. It's always so amazing when you get assigned a seat and you don't have to like stand there and lurk next to the gate agent's podium and wait for them to call you up. So I ended up getting a seat after all that. Uh, your girl got her steps in <laughs> as on the bright side and I got on the flight, so that was great. Everybody on the standby list got on the flight, so it's great, it's fantastic. And that's just how it goes. You just never ever know. So, anyways, we get to Newark and I'm trying to find the place where the hotel shuttles pick people up because I don't normally do that, right? I normally just 
fly out. So I went to the wrong place to get the hotel shuttle. It's P4 in Newark, not P3, FYI. So did that, messed up one time, went to the wrong place, then I went to the right place and I waited, waited, waited forever. Get to the hotel, I'm checking in and she's like, I don't have your your reservation here. And I was like, are you, <laughs> are you serious? I'm like, what you talking about, girl? I'm here. I took the wrong shuttle to the wrong hotel. I'm at the Crown Plaza. It doesn't really matter. I can say the hotel name because I paid for it with my coins. So I'm at the Crown Plaza and I went to like the court yard Marriott Ugh. so I had to call an uber to take me to the crown plaza which is where I'm at right now if I really wanted to be cheap and waste like another hour of my time I could have waited for the shuttle to take me back to the airport then I could have caught this shuttle from the airport back here but that's an hour of my time uh so that wasn't gonna happen so yeah now I'm here finally checked in at the right airport it, or at the right hotel it is like two hours after I landed and I just got here like 10 minutes ago so Good job, Alexis made me wanna pay attention next time to where you're going. So that was fun, but for my check-in tomorrow is at like 7.30, so I've got like a good 12 hours here and I'm just gonna chill. I might do a little workout in my room. Just a little little itty bitty 20 minute workout, um, maybe. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. I'm gonna make myself a sandwich and some grapes and then I'm just gonna chill, reply to y'all's comments and go to bed. And I'm feeling so good, I'm so happy. The crash pad was costing me $250 a month, which isn't bad for a crash pad it's actually pretty good so what I'm trying to do is to make my schedule in such a way that I, I don't want to pay more than $300 a month for hotels so I'm giving myself that budget because as a commuter you're gonna I'm, I was gonna have to pay for something I was gonna have to either pay for hotels or crash pad so there's really no way around that just with the way the flights are there's no guarantee that you're even if you have the perfect schedule that you can just fly in and fly out and I am not about to camp out in the crew room for hours upon hours that's just that's not what I want to do so yeah so this hotel cost me about a hundred dollars so we are within the budget for the month so far still got at least one more hotel I'm gonna get this month at least one schedule ended up being not not great at all this month actually it was trash but a line is a line even a trash line so all good B I didn't even know if the room was gonna have a fridge I'm just shook and pleased so yeah commuting even though it's stressful it is always worth it I will continue to say that I don't care what happens it is worth it to live where I want to live and it's funny because when I did live in Newark and I got a line all I wanted to do was turns because I just wanted to be home and sleep in my bed every night and now I want my layovers you know what I'm saying I want a, a bed to sleep in every night but mostly I want to be home <laughs> so it's funny how things change um that's that I'm going to chill and wait for my bread to warm up and then I'm gonna eat your future political thing is that he doesn't have anything Wow, I am so glad I got here when I did. Look at the sky, man. Oh, yeah. Wow, lightning. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can hear the wind. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Yes. I hope I get to see a show right now. I love thunder and lightning and crazy clouds like this. It looks like it's... Y'all probably can't tell on camera, but it looks like it's storming right here. Yes, lightning. About to eat my sandwich and uh, watch the show. Whoa, I promise you, I just turned off the camera and now it's like going crazy. Wow, amazing. We love to see it. I try pop and I'm gonna try to get the best time lapse I can get hopefully oh I think this is gonna work good morning everybody so I am kind of in a hurry I need to hurry up and go um, just woke up it's about 6 20 right now I need to go catch the shuttle to the airport a check-in isn't until 7 30 but I don't want to be late I don't want any drama and the shuttle only leaves on the half hour so it is what it is y'all I was so so did not want to get up I kept snoozing my alarm that is risky when you got to go to work because you could snooze it and you could snooze it for the wrong time been there done that uh so let's just not do that today and let's just get to work so I told myself I was going to do a little workout last night 
Do you think that happened? I don't think so. Uh, maybe tonight in my, in my, on my layover, I'll uh, get a little workout in, but I'm glad I got some rest. So happy to be in a hotel and not in the crash pad, y'all. I slept good. My bed was soft. It wasn't a jail bed. And um, I didn't have a dirty, filthy shower curtain liner to look forward to in the morning. This shower curtain liner is clean, so. Uh, yeah, that's one of the things I'll never forget about that crash pad. Like, the shower curtain liner was absolutely as disgusting as you can possibly imagine. So, yeah, that was a no. Um, anyways, I think I am ready to go. Oh, switch to Clinique. This mask me has just been taking its toll on my skin, but I decided a while ago to just stop caring. I mean, it is what it is. We gotta stay masked up right now in these streets, so... Uh, whatever but I think this clinic is helping at least with the moisturization it's helping my skin be not as dry so I think that's helping with the breakouts a little bit but whatever it is what it is after all this you know after this panoramic is over I know my skin will heal so we'll just wait for that whenever that day is or maybe it'll happen before maybe randomly one day my skin will just stop being so unhappy with having a mask rub up against it all the time but Whatever. I don't care. But y'all. All right. I just broke this coffee cup. I hope I don't charge him for it. Whatever. That's what happens when you try to use a cup as a tripod, y'all. Gotta go. I have three flights today, so pray for me. We're gonna have a good day. I will see you guys a little bit later. to go to Fort Myers, Florida. <sighs> Full flight, of course, as usual. I don't know, I just got here, so nothing really to report. Uh, we don't board for like another 20 minutes, so I'm gonna eat my banana and relax and uh, do my checks and all that stuff. And that's about it. I'll see y'all when we get to Florida, because I'm pretty sure we have a long sit there, so that's fantastic. Hello, everybody. Update. I am in Fort Myers, Florida, and I'm just sitting here. I found a quiet place to hide i have a two and a half hour sit here so i'm just ate some food i was really got really really tired when we landed so i ate some food and now i feel i feel better i'm trying not to get coffee um there's a starbucks right across from me and i really want to go get myself something but i'm really trying not to do that i'm just gonna try to stay stay fed keep my energy up I, i'm i'm excited because oh well, it was a good flight by the way no nothing crazy um, I'm excited because our next flight is to Dulles, Washington Dulles Airport. And the last time I was there, they had this really awesome Pizza Hut. Like, not just a regular Pizza Hut, like the most bomb, amazing Pizza Hut I've ever seen. Like, not even just in an airport, but just period. Like, they sent the pizzas through like this pizza oven and they like made them right in front of you. It was delicious. I'll never forget it. I think about it all the time. <laughs> and so, I really want to get a pizza on my layover or on my sit in Dulles. So I hope that Pizza Hut's still there. I hope they didn't get rid of it. That's what I'm looking forward to. So I'm just gonna do my best to hang on until we get there. And I'm just gonna keep drinking water and hanging in there, but I'm tired and I cannot wait for the layover. So yeah. Y'all update, so we were delayed. Um, coming in here, so of course I had no time to get any food, so that sucks, but on the bright side, I checked the hotel we're staying at and there's lots of food around the hotel and we should get there within enough time for me to get some food, so I really haven't eaten anything substantial today, so I'm not hangry, but I could, I could get there, so um, yeah, there's just no time to get any food at the airport, we board in like 15 minutes. Um, and all the lines are super long, so every time you have plans, every time you're excited about something at work when you're flying, when you're a flight attendant, this only this happens. If I hadn't wanted that pizza so bad, I guarantee you we would have got here on time. I guarantee you we would have got here 30 minutes early had I not wanted that pizza, but 
whatever it wasn't meant to be so i'm gonna get some good food when we land in maine i thought we were going to memphis but we're going to maine so yeah more details later all right y'all no tripod lex is here she's back i just walked in the dark to go get some food i didn't know i thought we were going to memphis i didn't know we were going to maine it's such a cute little town portland maine i didn't even know we flew here i didn't even know that that was a place that existed all right so I went and got some food. I'm so hungry. I'm about to take my pants off and eat this food, but I just wanted to show y'all real quick. I got myself a veggie burger and some fries from this place called CBG, right down the street. Oh my God, it smells good. Ooh, I like the sesame seed bun. Ooh, damn it, it has a tomato on it. <laughs> Look, looks good. Typical bean, veggie patty, whatever, fries. All right, let's give her a try, cheers. Fries are good. I'm gonna take these tomatoes off. Veggie burger. It's just their house veggie burger. It's got some cheese on it, some lettuce. It's good. It's good. It tastes like a veggie burger. I mean, it's very good though. All right, I'm gonna eat this food now. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. Um, y'all, I fell asleep. I like inhaled that food, sat in the bed, and then I woke up at 1:26 a.m. Face on the wrong pillow without the pillowcase. Just passed out in the bed, it got up, brushed my teeth, and then went right back to sleep. So have a food delivery coming to me in a few minutes. So I'm gonna go get that. All right, shout out to my man, Steve. We got ourselves some food for now, food for later. I got a sandwich, I've got soup, and I have something, oh, here's the soup. Let's check this out. This is called the crew plate. It's just like a snack plate type thing. It's there's some pita bread some apples, some peanut butter, and some, they said, said house-made jam. This is like some clam chowder, which I might save for later, but it looks good, smells pretty good. This is just a sandwich. It's got like turkey and roast beef and tomatoes. So, and some onions and stuff, so that's that. Pretty much got enough food to get me through the day because I have a long day today. I have four legs today and I need to be fueled. I need to make sure I eat today. Yesterday I didn't eat enough. I didn't have time today. I'm not gonna risk that. So I'm gonna talk to y'all after I eat. All right, about to leave for my trip. Is this gonna work as a tripod? I'm sitting y'all on a menu right now. I'll show you later, but hello. Welcome to the last day of my trip. So right now, Still got a few minutes. I'm getting ready to go, leave out the door. So today we have four legs. Now, would I recommend you work four legs in one day? Definitely not. But your girl has got to get her time in. I got to work these high time trips so I can get in, get out, get my hours and go home. So that is my situation, but please, if you don't have to, do not work four legs in one day. Last night, I was so tired when we got back because I didn't get a chance to eat, and that was just really not good. So today, I'm making sure I'm fueled up. I did bring food, but me I brought up basically a bunch of snacks. Yesterday, that didn't really work out too well for me, so I wanted to get some real food, but we are going to Kansas City. No, Chicago first, then to Kansas City, then back to Chicago, then to Newark. So it's gonna be a long day, but we are gonna get through it with God's grace. Um, ooh, it's 11-11, nice. Speaking of 11-11, I don't know how that relates to it, but y'all, I remember how I was talking about how I was having like dreams every day. Really enjoyed y'all's comments. This was like a few months ago, but I really enjoyed y'all's comments and theories about why that might be. So that lasted for a little over three months of dreaming every single day, multiple times, or, or every single night, y'all know what I mean. And then it kind of tapered off a little bit and it went down to like a couple times a week. Then it went right back up again to like probably like five out of seven days of the week. And now they are back every single day. They are more vivid than ever. And they're, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just getting dropped into the matrix every single night. I feel like I am. I feel like I'm getting dropped into the matrix every night. I had a dream the other night that some lady stole my debit card and I was like running after her and I was like, thief, come back. And she, y'all, she, pew, she peeled off of my debit card. And I was like on the phone um, with the bank trying to like call and tell them someone stole my debit card and like I could also see like my bank account like dwindling little by little she was like I guess making these like itty bitty purchases so anyways I woke up before I got my debit card back but how could I be so careless I like left my debit card sitting somewhere for a second I was like oh I'm just gonna leave it here for a second and walk away and I'll be right back and then she like grabbed it and left so that was crazy I would never do that in real life so I don't know why that happened but yeah anyways the dreams are back and very powerful so we'll see I'm just gonna continue to be entertained I guess what else? Um, I'm gonna leave a few minutes early and go get some more ice for my lunchbox because um, today's gonna be a long day. It doesn't just end when I finish my four legs and land in Newark. I've got a crew room it for a few hours before uh, hopping on the 5 a.m. flight 
back to Charlotte. So uh, it's <laughs> gonna be a while before I get back home. It's gonna be about <laughs> hopefully less than 24 hours from now, but we'll stay lifted in prayer. I really wanted to go out this morning and like go get like a real proper breakfast somewhere, like somewhere nice, but I was so tired debating whether or not I wanted to get Uber Eats and then I finally caved and got Uber Eats, which is just so expensive, but it is what it is. This is layover has made me want to come check out Maine. I've never been here, but it's super cute. They were playing like a movie last night on this like outdoor projector screen and there were like people there and it was, you know, really, really cute. So yeah, definitely will be back. I'm gonna have to add this to the trip list. The food I got was I, the sandwich was pretty good. I will say that, but the soup was my trash. Um, I don't know why people don't season their food. It really, really infuriates me when I get something and it's not seasoned. Like y'all are charging seasoned food prices and ain't putting a lick of seasoning in there. There wasn't one drop of salt in that soup. Luckily, I brought some seasoning in my bag because, hmm, you know, I don't play. I don't play like that. Mm -mm. But I'm gonna make sure that my food is seasoned. But I really don't appreciate that. I forgot what the place is called, but I really. Mm, really 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 that really makes me pretty mad but anyways let's go have a okay that was probably a noise for me to stop blabbing and actually go to work so let's go have a good day maybe at some point today i might treat myself to a tall chai latte with almond milk but we'll see let's have a good day today i will see you guys in a bit <laughs> all right everybody we're here one of four ready to go. I'm sure it'll go well. We board in a few minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready, get prepared, and I will see y'all when we get to Chicago, maybe. All right, y'all, so about to go to Kansas City. We're doing a Kansas City and Chicago turn right now. So we're about to do like two out of three. I still feel good, although I might eat snacks. Might try to uh, wolf down some grapes real quick, and uh, let's just get this thing going. There's a little bit of weather, so I don't know if we'll have any like drama, but we're all ready for an interesting day so we'll see what happens that's it just got a gift some more masks won't he do it <laughs> this is like the best gift in 2021 i think this is four very stylish white masks y'all stay masked up well here in chicago and uh this trip has been extended by at least two hours. We are delayed about two hours, like I said. And I probably won't get to Newark until 1.30 in the morning, which I was just gonna sit, be sitting in the crew room anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter, but I am tired. Really didn't want to have like a 14 hour day, but whatever. Almost had dinner and a show though. These two guys almost got in a fist fight right in front of me, but the people at the airport de-escalated the situation. Don't worry, it's just me. Walking through the airport at 3.30 in the morning. Headed to my 5 a.m. flight on American. Really hope I get on. Just sat in the crew room, closed my eyes for a few hours. Another episode of Commuter Life, right? The next stop is Terminal B. At the gate now just waiting to see if i get on i got my standby ticket so uh there's that and uh really hope we'll get on there's another flight attendant there too who says she's been trying to get home for two days i definitely know that feeling so i hope we all just get on the flight um we'll see made it out on the flight made it home showered and now i'm about to take a very long nap <sighs> Y'all, there is nothing like the nap that you take after coming home from a trip. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video and you've gotten this far, you're awesome. Thank you. You might as well go hit the thumbs up button if you forgot, okay? Don't want you to forget. And also subscribe if you're not already because you might as well. Just do it. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to enjoy my time off. Y'all take good care of yourselves and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye. Bye.